In Minsk, the strange Belarusian capital, Ben and Jamie took a break. It was to be their last major stop before the push to Moscow. By then, they had become a little more used to life on the road and had fallen into a routine. And then we entered Russia, and it was all a big shock to the system. We turned up at the crossing, and there was a guard there, must have been for freight, and he waved us through. And so Ben and I actually ended up entering Russia illegally on that first day, and we found a wood and set up camp straight away so as not to be on the roads. And then the next day when we woke up, we started to look for that road to Moscow. It was a four-lane motorway, and there was absolutely no hard shoulder. I don't know how fast they're going, but sometimes they come by, you can feel them brushing their elbows. Cycling along that road into Russia was an unbelievably frightening experience. I was lucky enough to have a wing mirror on my bike, so I would spend my entire time with my head cranked over to the left looking into this mirror, and I was pretty sure at times that we were going to get squashed. And in those instances, I would just scream forward to Jamie. We've got two shouts. We've got bail, which is abandon everything and get the hell off the road. Doesn't matter what you've got beside you, rocks, divots, dirt, ditch, doesn't matter. You get off the road. And the other one is um, brace. So you've got to maintain a straight heading and brace yourself up. Yesterday, my nerves just about broke. Twice in about uh, a minute, the word brace came, and then the word bail came. And uh, it kind of shook me up quite a lot. You can't honestly imagine how that felt to think that you might be snuffed out at any moment. There were times when both Jamie and Ben seriously questioned the point of riding bikes on roads like that. Free Wheels East was about exploration and was not something to be done for the sake of it, to seem fearless or to impress others. 